The Dawning Event is now live, and it is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the Donut event is now live and it is the weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for January 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, we're going to go ahead and start with the challenges first. So, we have our milestone, which is the Dawning, Ava's Return. So, if you do not know, Ava Levante is back. And I actually do greatly apologize to you guys for not getting this video out yesterday, but Destiny was having so many issues, and by the time that I was actually able to actually get this video out, uh, well, <laughs> I was already at work, so couldn't really do anything. So, we're going to go ahead and start with the Traveler first. We have uh, the Dawning, Ava's Return, so I'll go ahead and uh, start that quest. Then we have... Um, Guardian of All, which is uh, Ikora's Bounties, you need to do 20 of them. Then we have Clan Rewards, which you need to earn 5,000 XP for your clan. Then we have Recipe for Success, which you need to complete um, two weapon frames at the Forge. Coming down to uh, the Vanguard, we need to complete three daily story missions, as well as uh, complete three strikes. Modifiers this week for the strikes are Solar Singe, Iron, and Brawler. Then as for oops, as for your Nightfall, you need to complete a Nightfall as well as get 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are Inverted Spire, Strange Terrain, and Tree of Probabilities. Then for Gambit, you actually need to complete three Gambit matches. Crucible. We need to complete five Crucible matches, and the match of the week is Mayhem. So, if you are a hunter, specifically uh, Gunslinger, and even more, one with this awesome Blade Barrage, then go ahead and go find yourself some Shards of Galanor and destroy, like, immensely. So, next we have the Dreaming City. And Petra is actually in the Devalian Mists. So go ahead and uh, do her reporting in the Devalian Mists, which you need to complete two weekly bounties. So given that the Dawning event is here, the tower has changed with new banners, lights, and it is snowing. So let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Starting with the Prismatic Matrix, we have a uh, Sparrow. This comes with Custom Drive, as well as Destabilizers and a random mod. Then we have uh, Matter Flare, which is the ornament for the Luna Faction Boots. Then we have the Lordy Homage, which is the ornament for the Doomfang Pauldron. Then we have Rasmutant's Projection, which is this is for your Ghost. Vanguard Dare Cloak, which is a class item for a Hunter. I'm going to go ahead and put that on real quick so you guys can see it. I actually like the way it looks. It looks pretty badass in my opinion, but I want one with better perks. Then we have another ship, Turbo Hammer. Ghost. Then we have an ornament for the Dread Adventure. Then we have Duel. Okay, it's a weird emote. And then we have Cringe, which is another emote. Coming down here for the Winter Drift Engrams. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what's in here. For the armor, we have all the new armor for Season 5, and this is what the Hunter actually looks like. I know I'm not on the Hunter-like stuff, but the, the turning character is a Hunter. <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty much the armor. Really can't say much about it. As for emotes, 
We have uh, protecting teammates. Then we have chest bump, and you can do this with uh, a buddy if you both have it. Then we have comfort dance. I don't see how that's comforting. Then we have fist bump. That's pretty cool. And then we have high five. And that's it. Next for ghosts and shells, ah, uh, ghost shells and ships, we have True North Shell. This comes with uh, Public Defender as well as Omni Telemetry and a random mod. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the Hard Packed Shell. This comes with Guiding Light, Omni Telemetry, and a random mod. Then we got a whole bunch of legendary ones. Really not gonna go over the legendary ones, just the important ones. Um, sorry, then we have the uh, Glad Tidings. It's a ship. Kinda looks similar to last year's, just saying. Then we have uh, Home Away. For the projections, we have Cupcake Projection, Dawning, Flickering, Garlad, uh, Package, as well as Coco. And then we actually have new Transmat effects. We have Shower of Gifts. We have Howling Blizzard. And from last year's, we have the Ice Ball effect. We also got new shaders. I'm not gonna even say that. Any line shock. I, I hope that's how you say it. As well as the resilient uh, lure. Oh, Laurel, sorry. <laughs> that actually looks pretty badass. I like that color. Especially on the uh, class item. And then the dawning brilliance, dawning hope. And the Dawning Warmth, as well as the Dawning Festiveness, are all shaders from last year's Dawning event. Now, one thing I did notice is these check marks. Now, these are the Dawning, um, how do you say, the armor from the Dawning event from last year. So, it's pretty nice to know that you can actually get these still. Moving down the line, we have the Dawning Genesis Bundle. This comes with five Winter Drift Engrams, as well as a Glad Tidings uh, ship, a Dawning Projection, and 250 Bright Dust. Then we have the mixed it, uh, Mixing It Up Bundle. This comes with Bacon Cookies, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at that real quick. That was awesome. Then we have uh, Showering Gifts, as well as the Fire Team Medallion. Then we have the Dawning's Delight Bundle. This comes with three Winter Drifts, a uh, Gleaming Boon in the Vanguard, and five Aniline Shock Shaders. And then we have your Etched Engrams, and we already know about those. And then we have the Forge's Ignition Bundle, which comes with five etched engrams, 250 bright dust, and three fire team medallions. And for this week, for the dawning, we have High Five, Glad Tidings, uh, Hard Packed Shell, Cocoa Projection, we have Gauntlets, as well as Class Items, 
And then we have Baker's Pouch, which is pretty interesting. And it's 500 Bright Dust. Let's preview this. This comes with ingredients. Okay. We got Vex Milk, Ether Cane, Cabal Oil. I can't even say that powder. Uh, Taken Butter. Ew. And then Dark Ether Cane. And then random rare ingredients. We have Delicious Explosion, Sharp Flavor, Impossible Heat, Electric Flavor, No Taste, Flash and Inspiration, Personal Touch, Perfect Taste, as well as Bullet Spray. It's nice to know that those are... Uh... Okay, we got more. <laughs> Baker's Box. Uh, I want to say it's the same thing. And then Baker's Crate. Yeah, it's the same items, just with more quantities in them. Now, for the week, we have Silly Salute for the emote. Confused? Then we have the Bronco, which is a beautiful, beautiful looking Sparrow. This comes with Custom Drive as well as Destabilizers and a random mod. Then we have Alton's Ambush, Duel of Saturn, one, uh, Wonder Longing, a uh, Buzzing Drone Shell, just a random shell, another reskin. Lost Sector Projection, uh, Tia Mat, which is the ornament for the Dragon Shadow. Go ahead and look at that real quick. It's like a little tiger, or I'm sorry, a lion on your chest. Then we come down here and we got the Salute to the Colonel ornament for the Ace of Spades. That looks so awesome. Then we have uh, Break the Dawn, which is the ornament for the Merciless. Then we have the Dominus of Gaul effects, the Guardian White, and for shaders we have Safety First, Cerulean Divide, and then your wonderful Boons. And we got your Weekly Bounties. Let's go ahead and pick this one up. And then I still have the Faster Than Speed Bundle here, and this gives you the Hyper Velocity Ornament for the Thunderlord, as well as a Corrupted Aether and 150 Bright Dust. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.